Hello. I'm, uh, I just switched to Wi-Fi. Hello. Not sure if I uh, lost anybody or uh, kept the theme. My screen changed. Uh, just doing some work while the weather seems uh, uh, suited to some of this outdoor work. Uh, anyway, I'm here uh, atop the tractor, which uh, I sometimes think of as my uh, mobile ladder. I don't know if you can see, I'm looking into the sun and it's not worth uh, falling to uh, try and look at the screen. Uh, but anyway, I'm here atop the tractor kind of overlooking. I could see uh, Dolly out there. Iris just came in. Lori is out there walking along the fence line towards the barn. And I'm uh, here. Uh, it's a black cat chickadee uh, here above the, the lilac here. And uh, some of her buds. I'm not sure if you're able to see. And. Uh, so I have a real kind of wobbly support up here. I mean, it's strong. There's uh, some flexibility to the design of the tractor, but it uh, certainly feels differently supportive than you know a normal solid foundation, uh, earth or the floor. And normally, of course, we look out at the earth uh, uh, relatively level, you know, sort of uh, uh, more or less looking at it. in a way that it feels like uh, we're on its level, you know, maybe a few feet up if we're sitting or standing, but now up here kind of looking out, especially in terrain that's not mountainous or hilly, it really feels like the earth is below me, much like the sky feels like it's below. And of course, looking at the earth sort of from above as I am on this makeshift ladder, it gives you a sense of viewing the earth, the substantial and supportive from the point of view of the creative, you know, the sky, and the Tien. And uh, combine that with the, uh, let's see if I can show you, the, the relatively uh, shaky tractor as I'm standing here. Comparing those two things, uh, gives us the idea of a different view of that which supports. You know, tend to take a, take for granted the earth, you know, that it's there, that it's solid, that it won't change, that it won't move, even if we know there can be an earthquake. The earth can crumble and heave. The earth can give way in a sinkhole and so forth. The earth can, you know, freeze and become mud. And it says uh, connection weak, by the way, so apologies. But uh, having a more creative view of what is foundational, you know, this higher view down at the earth, uh, the sky's view of the earth, is to see things as a creative. Of course, I have creative foundation here, this creative ladder up in the thing. And so what I want to do is, uh, over the course of a few breaths, meditating here, you know, some, I don't know, 12 or 15 feet up, I guess. Uh, what I want to do is uh, take the breath in to the supportive body. Uh, but with the help of the breath or the reminder of the breath, maybe even the encouragement of the breath, I want to try and have a view of the body from the point of view of the sky, from the part of view, the point of view of the um, the creative. So rather than just taking for granted the physical body and its relative unchangingness, I'm going to try and look at it creatively. The thing that supports, like a vessel, the breath that comes in. 
I'm just trying to shift my view of that which I presuppose and take for granted as unchanging and supportive. Maybe you'll join me for a few breaths. It doesn't mean I'm shifting into a more true view. I'm just trying on a different view, shifting my perspective. This is like practicing compassion, where you shift your perspective. It doesn't mean you maintain it. It doesn't mean that you believe your prior one was wrong. You're just shifting to expand the possibilities of perspective. Ordinarily, we tend to view the sky from the earth rather than the earth from the sky. And so this is just uh, allowing or encouraging that particular type of view. Okay, so thank you very much.